In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom email domain with iCloud. And this will allow you to create as many email addresses as you want, and each of them will end in your domain name. So, for example, I own the domain name tonyflow.com, so I can create an email address like tony at tonyflow.com, hello at tonyflow.com support at tonyflow.com, et cetera, et cetera. So the two prerequisites for this tutorial will be that you have to be an iCloud Plus member and that you have to have already bought and registered a domain name. So if that's the case for you, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial. Okay, I'm here at iCloud.com and I'm gonna come into, well, first let me show you in, uh, in mail. So right now this is my iCloud mail and I am only able to compose mail uh, that comes from, there's no from option here, that comes from Tony Florida at iCloud.com. So we'll change this by the end of the video. We'll have a custom email address set up that is Tony at TonyFlow.com and we'll be able to send it from within iCloud. So let's go back to our account settings. And uh, if you wanna access that from iCloud.com, you can simply click on account settings right here and then we will go down to the section where it says custom email domain. So click on manage and in this box, uh, who will use the domain that you want to add? For me, it's going to be only me. So I'm going to click on only you. Now, what is the domain name that we're working with? For me, it is tonyflow.com. And again, you have to own and have registered this domain name. So click on continue. And this will go through, I, th I think it's a four step process. So we uh, specified our domain details. It says add existing email addresses for step two. I don't have any email addresses currently at tonyflow.com. So I'm gonna skip that step and that could be the case for year two. Okay, step three, update your domain registrar settings. So there's gonna be some DNS settings that we have to take from here and put into our domain registrar. So I, I registered my domain name tonyflow.com with Google Domains. Let me show you that real quick. So this is um, Google Domains and this is the domain that we're talking about tonyflow.com. And in here, I can look at my DNS settings for this domain name. Um, it's If you register your domain name with GoDaddy or Namecheap or somebody else, just find the DNS settings for that domain name and follow a similar uh, the similar steps for your specific user interface. So I'm going to split the screen here. I'm going to have the records on the left and I'm going to add them on the right here to Google domain. So I'm going to click on manage custom records. The first record it wants is an MX record with this value and that priority. So I'm going to create a new record. It's going to be of type MX. The host is a uh, just gonna the at symbol means just the the domain name itself so i don't have to put anything in the host name sometimes you might have to put an at but that's not the case for google domains and then as you can see here it gives you a little bit of guidance like uh it says like 10 and then mail.example.com so for us it's going to be a 10 followed by a space followed by mx01 mail icloud.com and then it also wants another MX record, which we can add more to this record right here. And this one is priority 10 at this MX02 mail iCloud.com. So we'll do priority 10 space MX02 mail iCloud.com. So the next record uh, looks like we got two text records here. So we'll create a new record of type text txt again we have the host as at so we can leave that blank and then the value will be this so we'll copy that paste that there and then we have another text record so we can add more to that same one the value is this oops and i don't know if we need the double quotes but if we don't then google will take care of stripping them out so the last one is of type C name. So let's create a new record of type C name. And then this time the host has to be sig1 underscore domain key. So we'll paste that into the, um, the host column here. And then the value will be this. So I'm gonna copy this entire value, including that dot at the end and paste it in there. So we'll review that, that looks okay. I'm gonna keep my existing um, 
A records in here. If you have other records, just keep them the same or just adding additional records. And I will click on save. So after that's done saving, um, it does say these DNS settings are active, changes are published immediately, but it may take time to propagate. So we'll, we'll be told uh, pretty quickly if that's the case. So we're done in there. And let's click the back button here and let's finish the setup. So click on finish setup and it says confirm that you've updated your records. We just did that, so confirm. And if those settings are live, it says, yep, we're good. The, your domain is ready to use with iCloud Mail. If that's not the case, then you might have to give it a little bit more time for your changes to propagate. So let's go ahead and click on continue. And this says, choose a default email address. This will be the default email address for sending emails with iCloud. So that's fine. I'm gonna use my Tony Florida at iCloud.com. And there's an issue with my default email address. Let me debug that real quick. Okay, I'm actually not sure what the case was there. Um, I think we're okay though. So if we come down to custom email domain again, you'll see that our domain is in here. So tonyflow.com. And now we can add an email address. So let's click the plus button here. And like I said, I wanted the email address Tony at tonyflow.com. We will add that and that looks good. So let's go back and test it out. We'll go over to our mail and hopefully we'll have the from section in the compose. So yep, we do see that now. So we see two. Uh, the CC, BCC, the subject, and we also see from. So it's defaulting to Tony Florida at iCloud.com, but now we also have the option to send from Tony at TonyFlow.com. So let's practice with this. Let's test it out with uh, sending a message to Tony Teaches Tech at gmail.com. We'll just call the subject test email. Hey, Tony, did you get this? Thanks. Tony. All right. And uh, what I'm going to do is half screen this and pull up my Tony teaches tech at gmail.com inbox right here. So let me confirm that. And yep, this is the inbox for Tony teaches tech at gmail.com. So let's send that on over. Make sure we receive it over here on the right hand side. And we might have to wait a little bit or refresh the page. There it is. Uh, so we got that email. Let's confirm it is from Tony Florida, uh, Tony at TonyFlow.com. It's to TonyTeachesTech at gmail.com. Let's confirm that receiving messages to that email work. So let's just reply to it. Yes, I got it. Send that back over to iCloud on the left and we will refresh a couple times. And just a moment later, we do get that email back in here. Yes, I got it. Now, like I said, you can come into your account settings and add multiple email addresses, okay? You can, we only add it one at this point. We added Tony at TonyFlow.com. We can add another one, hello at TonyFlow.com. I'm not sure if there's a limit, but you could probably add as many as you want. And uh, if you're done with that email address at some point in the future, you can stop using it here. And you also have the option to add multiple domains. So you can go through that same exact process that we just went through for a whole nother domain name. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to learn more about iCloud, I have a video on how to use the hide my email feature over here. So check that out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.